over 50% of our prison inmates are dyslexic, but over 50% of our top entrepreneurs in the world are dyslexic. So that's kind of bizarre, and it's like there's this fork in the road. That's kind of, I just find it so fascinating, because the dyslexic brain is fascinating. But if that, you know, all the amazing things about dyslexics, if that's not harnessed, if that's squashed out because they can't read and write that well, you can go the other, take that other fork in the road. Like with NASA, over 60% of their employees are dyslexic. They seek out dyslexics because they see that visual spatial ability. They can see things in 3D. They actually seek them out. In order to get to that point, you've got to get through all the exams. You know, you have reader writers now. That's great, but it's not really addressing the problem.